something big is happening inside your body, quiet, constant, powerful. And most people have no idea it is happening at all. Many people believe autophagy only begins when you stop eating for long hours. They think it is locked behind strict fasting plans and extreme discipline. But that belief keeps millions from seeing the full truth. Autophagy is not only a fasting trick. It is a natural repair system that runs inside your cells. It clears waste. It breaks down damaged parts. It builds stronger, cleaner cells in their place. It is one of the reasons some people feel lighter, clearer, and more energetic when their bodies are working well. And here is the surprise. Science shows that your body can trigger this process in more ways than one. You do not always need long fasts. You do not always need to suffer. There are lesser known paths. There are quiet switches inside the body. And when those switches are flipped, everything about autophagy starts to change. In this video, we are going to walk through those hidden details. We will talk about the myths that have spread for years. We will talk about how exercise, cellular stress, nutrition signals, sleep, and other daily choices can support autophagy in surprising ways. We will talk about how this process protects your cells from damage. We will talk about how it connects to aging, energy, recovery, and long-term health. You will hear facts that are simple. You will hear facts that are clear, but they may challenge things you thought were true. Stay with me because the most important pieces come later. You will see how small adjustments add up. You will see how timing, quality, and consistency can send strong signals to your body. You will learn how certain natural compounds in food can support cellular cleanup. You will learn why both too little stress and too much stress can slow this process down. There are points that many videos skip. There are details that almost no one explains. We are going to slow down and uncover them step by step. By the end of this video, you will understand autophagy in a deeper way. You will know why it matters. You will know how it works. And you will walk away with practical knowledge that you can start using safely and calmly without extreme fasting plans. You will see that your body already has tools. You only need to know how to support them. There is also a reason to watch until the very end. We will share one key mindset shift that changes everything. It is simple. It is not flashy, but it is the difference between short-term experiments and long-term cellular health. Many people miss it. When they miss it, they give up. When they understand it, progress becomes steady, realistic, and far more powerful. This is not hype. This is not miracle talk. This is about respecting your biology. This is about using science in a calm, thoughtful, no fear, no pressure, just clarity and truth. So take a breath, settle in, let your focus stay here for a few minutes, because once you understand how autophagy really works, you may never look at your daily choices the same way again. Welcome to our channel. We are glad you are here with us. If you want clear, honest health content that breaks big ideas into simple words, make sure you subscribe and stay with us as we move forward together. Autophagy is the quiet cleaning system inside your body. It works at the level of each cell. Cells are like tiny factories. They work all day. They create energy. They build new tissue. But over time, parts inside those cells get worn out. Proteins fold the wrong way. Structures break down. Waste starts to build. Autophagy steps in and starts the cleanup. The word means self-eating, but it is not harmful. It is controlled. It is smart. The cell takes the old damaged parts and wraps them in small sacks. Then those sacks are broken down. The useful pieces are recycled. The harmful parts are removed. Nothing is wasted. The cell gets fresh material to repair itself and keep working. 
This process supports balance. It helps cells respond to stress. It helps them stay efficient. It reduces the load of junk that would slow everything down. When autophagy is active, cells use resources better. They become more resilient. They communicate more clearly with other cells. Your body uses this system every single day. It rises and falls based on signals like energy need, movement, and stress levels. It is not dramatic. It is steady. It is one of the ways your body protects itself from the inside out, simply by staying organized and clearing what no longer serves its purpose. People care about autophagy because it touches so many parts of health. When the cellular cleanup system works well, cells do not carry as much damage. They stay clearer. They stay more organized. Over time, that can support the way organs function and the way the whole body feels. Many scientists connect strong, steady autophagy with better cellular aging, not to slow time, but to help the body handle stress in a healthier way. Autophagy also helps remove broken proteins and damaged cell parts that could build up when this debris sits inside cells. It can interfere with normal work. It can disturb energy production. It can disrupt signals by clearing that mess. Autophagy gives cells a better environment to operate in. That is one reason people link it to brain health, heart health, metabolic balance and recovery after strain. As the body grows older, damage collects more easily. Systems respond more slowly. This is where autophagy becomes even more important. It supports repair. It supports renewal. It helps the body keep cleaning house even when years pass. People pay attention to it because it feels like a natural tool that is already inside us, quietly shaping how we age, how we perform, and how we stay functional through the stages of life. For a long time, many people were told that autophagy only begins when you stop eating for long stretches. The idea sounds simple. No food means the body runs low on fuel, so it turns inward and starts cleaning old parts to survive. Because of that, fasting became the main story. Long fasting, windows, strict rules, tough willpower. And if you did not fast, people said you could not reach autophagy at all. But the body is more complex than that. Fasting is one strong signal, yes. Calorie restriction can also nudge the system. Yet it is not the single key that unlocks everything. Cells listen to many cues at the same time. They respond to movement, stress, nutrients, sleep, and energy demand. They sense when they need to repair, not only when food is missing. This is where the myth becomes limiting. When people believe fasting is the only way, they either push too hard or give up entirely. They miss all the other ways the body naturally activates cleanup. They miss how gentle daily signals can encourage the same cellular processes without extreme measures. Autophagy is not tied to one behavior. It is part of a larger network of responses that your biology uses again and again as conditions change. Autophagy is not limited to food timing. The body can turn on this cellular cleaning system through other signals as well, and they show up in daily life more often than people think. One strong trigger is movement. Exercise places mild stress on the body. Muscles work harder. Energy gets used faster. Cells sense this demand and begin clearing old parts so they can perform better. Both steady endurance work and short. Intense training can send that signal as long as it is done safely and consistently. Another trigger is gentle calorie reduction. This does not mean long periods without food. It simply means eating a little less than usual over time. When energy intake drops slightly, the body becomes more careful with resources. Cells start recycling old material so nothing goes to waste. Food quality also matters. 
certain plant compounds can support cellular cleanup, polyphenols found in foods like grapes, berries, olive oil, green tea, and many herbs interact with the same pathways that guide repair. They act like quiet nudges that help the body stay in maintenance mode. Heat and cold create another type of controlled stress. A warm sauna or a brief cold shower forces the body to adapt. Cells respond by strengthening their systems and cleaning up worn parts, using stress as a signal to become more efficient. All these triggers speak the same language inside the body. They send signals that say, resources are tight, be careful, be efficient. When the cells sense that message, they shift into a different mode. Instead of always building and storing, they start cleaning and recycling. Old parts get broken down. Useful pieces get reused. Energy gets directed toward repair instead of constant growth. Exercise, calorie reduction, certain nutrients, heat and cold may look very different on the outside, but inside the cell, they create a similar kind of pressure. That pressure is not meant to harm. It is controlled stress. It tells the cell that comfort is not guaranteed every moment, so it should clear clutter and tighten up its systems. This is why autophagy is better understood as a stress response, not only as a reaction to starving. When fuel feels limited, when effort increases, when conditions change, the body adapts. It becomes leaner at the cellular level. It becomes more careful with what it has. Signals get stronger. Communication improves. Waste does not sit around as long. The beauty of this process is that it turns challenge into maintenance. Small doses of stress become signals that guide cells back into order simply by reminding them to clean house and stay ready. Supporting autophagy in daily life does not have to be extreme. It begins with steady movement. When you move your body often, even with simple walks, gentle jogging, or regular workouts, you create small waves of healthy stress. Muscles work, energy turns over, and cells get the signal to stay active and clean. Food choices also matter, but not through harsh restriction. A balanced calorie intake helps more than long, punishing fasts, eating slightly less than you burn, over time encourages your body to use resources wisely. It is calm, it is consistent, it is sustainable. Quality is just as important as quantity. Meals built around vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans, nuts, and healthy fats bring in plant compounds that support cellular maintenance. Polyphenols in foods like grapes, berries, olive oil, and green tea gently nudge the same pathways that guide cleanup inside the cell. Temperature changes create another signal. Short sessions in warmth, such as a sauna or brief exposure to cold, such as cool showers, challenge the body in controlled ways. Cells respond by tightening their systems and clearing worn parts. None of these actions promise magic. They are simply practical, realistic habits that encourage your biology to do work. It is already designed to do. Autophagy is not something that switches on only during special moments. It is already working in the background, shifting up and down as your body balances stress and repair. When you sleep, move, eat, and recover, your cells read those signals and decide how much cleanup they need to do. It is a living rhythm, not an all or nothing event, and it keeps your inner systems from getting clogged with worn material. You also do not need long, harsh fasting windows to benefit from it. The body has many ways to sense challenge, gentle exercise, steady nutrition, and regular rest can all create the message that resources should be used wisely. When that message is clear, cells begin to recycle. They take apart what is broken and reuse what still works, helping everything run more smoothly. Simple habits often carry more power than extreme rules. Eating real food most of the time. Staying active. Avoiding constant snacking late at night. Sleeping enough so the body has time to repair, allowing short bursts of healthy stress 
but not pushing into exhaustion. Each small choice becomes another cue for the body to tidy its inner environment, supporting cellular health day after day while life continues as normal. Your body is constantly at work cleaning and repairing itself on the inside. Even when you are resting or going about your day, autophagy is happening quietly and now you know how to support that process through simple practical habits without needing to starve yourself or follow extreme routines. By moving your body, choosing nutrient-rich foods, managing calories wisely, and occasionally challenging yourself with mild heat or cold, you can help your cells stay strong, efficient, and healthy every day. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more clear, science-based insights that make complex health topics easy to understand. Stay with us and take control of your health from the inside out.